Hello seekers, welcome to Punis Astrology, your one shop astro channel. Mercury has made its move in the sign of Gemini and this Mercury is going to stay for a couple of weeks. This position of Mercury is definitely going to strengthen the Gemini zodiac sign because Gemini is Mercury's own zodiac sign. It is the natural third house so the willpower and the courage will increase and you will be in a better position to communicate your feelings to the world. What is what it is going to bring for all of us for ascendant wise let's understand in this ascendant wise analysis but before you jump into the ascendant wise please watch the general analysis of mercury transit in the sign of gemini the link is in the description box and the pinned comment below this is an ascendant wise analysis you can also refer this as a moon based analysis like you can also look out for your moon sign the only difference is for ascendant wise it's a true transit analysis but from the moon's perspective it's more psychological in nature so if you know your ascendant and you also know your moon sign so watch both of them so that it gives you a full picture how the mercury is going to impact you physically materially as well as psychologically let's begin with 12 ascendants ascendant number 1 aries ascendant in case of aries ascendant mercury will be in the third house and it will enter in the sign in the nakshatra of mrigashira and when mercury will enter the sign of gemini it will find sun already placed in the third house now if you see the first lord and the fifth lord are conjunct in the third house which means your efforts should be towards learning the buddhaditya yoga that gets formed in the third house definitely shows that intelligent and smart work is going to the, to be the key for your success Mercury is also sixth lord and sixth lord being in the third house means you have to take care of your responsibility and you have to execute that task because third house is one of the upche house and it is also the house of courage and will power overall with saturn and jupiter in 10th and 11th and mercury in third it shows that it's a quite a good combination where you can utilize your learning and your smart work to pull you out from any difficult situation you should be very careful while communicating with your brothers and siblings because in that case it might create some confusion being the third house mercury aspects the ninth house definitely which means that if you if you want to learn some shastras if you want to go back to the basics if you want to educate if you want to upgrade your skill this is the best time for that you can plan something and learn a new language it will help you communicate in a better way sharpen your soft skills personality traits and uh, any kind of uh, issues that you find in your communication area this is the time to brush it up and improve yourself overall this is going to be a good transit for you and uh, this this transit is going to definitely put you into a position where you you are utilizing your strength for best use Taurus ascendant in case of Taurus ascendant Mercury rules second and fifth house. Mercury goes into second house. Dhan bhav lord goes into the dhan house. The wealth lord goes into the wealth house. It is very positive transit, especially if you are looking for to save money, to invest money in a proper area, to look for a good transaction, and if your business or work is stuck financially, to roll the ball. This is the best time to do something related to that matter. sun is going to be along with mercury sun is also the fifth uh, fourth lord that means some money will come through sale of property one of the family member will also get some good profit second house is also the house of speech and communication as well as food so you have to take care of what you speak how you speak your body language as well as what you eat try to eat more green leafy vegetables because mercury is also the ruler of fifth house digestive problem can be the case and your words will go wild will spread like wildfire so be very careful what you're speaking choose your words wisely overall mercury aspects the 8th house therefore this is a good time to put money into a long term investment but just you have to be careful because mercury will find rahu on the 12th from itself hence rahu is on your ascendant when rahu is on your ascendant there can be some lucrative offers about money and investments but you have to be careful you have to be analytical and if you are being analytical things are fine financially and career wise this is a good time for you 
but uh, from the health perspective you have to be slightly careful you have to be very polite and humble while communicating to your family and if you need some help some family member one of the family member may provide some help so be open and be receptive to all suggestions overall this is a positive transit for you Gemini ascendant mercury goes into your first house the lagna lord gets the power the fourth lord goes in the first house definitely it shows that you are working to get more towards your happiness and comfort areas this is a good time to upgrade and sharpen your personality sharpen your skills project yourself in a very positive manner and you will come across as someone who is learned intelligent and skilled person good time for career development good time for work life balance this is also the right time to do some vastu correction in your home and if you want to buy a new property if you want to buy a new vehicle this can be the time where your intelligent planning will give you positive output overall uh, expenses will be on the higher side come because rahu will be on the 12th whereas mars will be in the second house some concerns about the money is going to put you into a into a thought process where you want to increase your wealth increase your source of income so looking for a better career opportunity can also be one of the implication of mercury going on your ascendant mercury aspect on the 7th house is also going to resolve any issues in your business with your business partner or any kind of legal issues through careful analysis and help from a learned and professional person try to take the help of people who are a financial expert into legal who are into legal expertise and that will help you if you are facing any problem in business in case of marriage this mercury is going to impact positively try to communicate with your partner humbly but because sun is on the ascendant ego should be kept aside mercury should not relay the ego otherwise it will create problems so this mercury is positive for you but it can give you sleepless nights so you need to ensure that you are analytically thinking and always you are ready with plan b cancer ascendant in case of cancer the mercury goes into the 12th house so definitely the 12th lord being in the 12th house shows that you need to donate you need to distribute the wealth give something to society mercury is also books so help children who need books who need education the 12th house presence of mercury along with sun is also going to give you better opportunity through travel if you are in travel related industry if you are in uh, if you are doing any kind of business related to import and export especially if you deal with foreign government this is going to be beneficial for you this is also a good time to plan any kind uh, plan your finances so that you can save money and you can regulate the unnecessary expense that you are facing third lord is also in the 12th house so you may have to travel for your education this is okay mercury being in the 12th house does not necessarily mean that it will over overspend on something but this means that this money will be spent but on some good cause just take care of the duality of gemini because the confusion will also come but because that's the natural nature of the gemini zodiac sign with mars and saturn on the first and seventh axis the confusion will not be because of mercury but will be because of the impatient nature of saturn and the negativity of mars in ashlesha nakshatra this is the time when you should pray to ma mahalakshmi chant shri suktam and take control of your thought process by repeated meditation and listening to spiritual videos listening to motivational videos mercury transit in the 12th house will be actually good for you because the moment mercury enters the sign of gemini the navamsha that it will enter is the navamsha of libra libra being in your 4th house will mean that your imagination will run wild and this is good for writers philosophers thinkers creative artists so this also means that you need to learn something that is foreign in nature learn a there's a learn a foreign language or learns a language if you are a software developer that is beyond your domain so doing something other than what you are usually doing will actually give you more confidence and put you in a better position to secure your finances leo ascendant in case of leo ascendant mercury will move to the 11th house 11th house is fulfillment of expectations source of income mercury going into that house will set the ball rolling for a new source of income for the expansion of wealth 
any blocked transaction will now remain unblocked. It will put the ball, set the ball rolling and with Sun and Mercury in the 11th house, your intelligence and your, your smart work will help you gain, gain an edge over other candidates in an interview. It will help you gain an edge over your colleagues, peers, and this will help you gain extra mile in your career. This 11th house Mercury transit is also going to display some of your expectations and you have to reanalyze and revisit, recalculate and rethink. Do that and that will set you into the right path. The second house is also ruled by Mercury. So second lord in the 11th house is called Dhana Yoga. This particular position of Mercury gives you extra amount of wealth. Any kind of profit can come, but don't gamble. This is the time when you actually learn few things, upgrade your skill because Mercury aspects fifth house. When you learn, when you upgrade your skill, you will be in a much better position to excel in an interview, to be, to present yourself in a better way if you are doing a business. Overall, this is going to be a incremental transit for you. This transit will give you good gains, but provided you are not gambling and not risking. Remember, Saturn is retrograde in the sixth house. So when Saturn is retro in the sixth house and Rahu is in the tenth house, unhappiness about your current career is obvious. But then you have to play smartly. Overall, this is going to be a transit of gains for you. Virgo Ascendant. Your Ascendant is ruled by Mercury. Mercury goes in the 10th house. It's an excellent time to revisit and rethink about your career. Sun and Mercury forming Buddha Ditya Yoga in the 10th house shows that intelligent planning will make you successful. Do not rely on assumptions. Do not rely on emotions, but rather apply analytical thinking. Gemini is a dual sign. It is also representing two sides of the coin. So when Mercury goes there, you are intelligent enough to understand both sides before taking a decision. Going, going in flow with wrong ideologies can actually put you into a negative situation. Remember, Rahu is in the ninth house and therefore you need to explore and learn more. Go beyond the boundary and try something new, something unique. Fulfill your wishes. You always wanted to do something. This is the right time to think about it or plan about it. Learn a new instrument, learn a new language, something that can help you in your own career. 10th house is also known as livelihood and industries. So Mercury will favor those who, are in, who, are as a, who act as a merchant, who are into commission business, who are into uh, any kind of marketing, who are in, into sales and who are into Mercury-based career like writing, journalism. All these, areas will be all these areas will be impacted positively with this Mercury transit. Overall, this Mercury transit is the transit where you can, where you can act through smart work to get out of the problems that you face in your career. This is going to be a very powerful transit for you. Libra Ascendant. For you, Mercury will move in the ninth house. Mercury rules ninth and twelfth house. So definitely Dharma and Moksha. These two houses are ruled by Mercury. So Mercury is information, so you need to work on these aspects of life. Learn more about your natural skill set. Upgrade. If you want to go to and pursue a higher education, there's the right time to plan for that. Well, ninth lord sits with 11th house. So this is definitely a destiny changing transit for you. So whatever you plan will create a new alternative future. So if you know that you are in a bad time, if you know that the upcoming Mahadasha or Antadasha is bad for you, this is the right time to plan for that. The right sequence of events will produce the right sequence of results. Mercury being in the ninth house is also going to bring you luck and the luck will be in your favor. But don't trust your luck too much because you know 12th house is also ruled by Mercury. Help will come from the unexpected areas, unexpected sources. Friends will also help you and support you in the times of need. Expectation will also fulfill. So overall this is a thumbs up transit for you. Make the best use of it. Scorpio Ascendant. For you, Mercury transit will happen in the 8th house. This is the right time to do some intelligent investment. 8th house is also house of insurance. Take care of your insurance and if you don't have, buy one. 
Taking care of the taxes is also one part of this transit. Mercury rules your 11th house and 11th lord goes into the 8th house means majority of your source of income will either go into paying off the loans or it will be mostly on your health issues. So if you are having any health issue, especially related to Mercury, you need to take care of that. But if you don't have, block your money, block your income for this particular month in a long-term investment. Not only it will help you on the tax front, but it will also ensure, the, ensure that on the rainy days, you have enough amount of funds. Overall, this is going to be a transit where the role of Mercury will not be visible because obviously it's the eighth house, but the money can come from in-laws. So if you want to start a partnership, a business with respect to, with, with your in-laws, then this is the right time for that. Good time for marriage and marriage related communication, intelligent thinking, and the right advice from your partner, spouse, can actually give you a right path and you will be on the path to success. Overall, this is going to be a transforming transit and make the best use of it. Sagittarius Ascendant. For you, Mercury will transit the seventh house. Well, issues in business and marriage will be addressed beautifully when Mercury will be in this particular house. There will be confusion, but because Sun is the ninth lord, destiny will favor the brave. If you handle your communication properly, if you handle the transaction, the energy exchange between you and your partner in a positive manner, it is going to be a brilliant transit for you. But talking about energy exchange, this is also the energy exchange between you and surroundings. So you need to be very cautious about what you're seeing, what you are hearing, what you're eating. Your reality in the surrounding will alter your reality of life. So ensure that you are only positive Ensure that you are affirming with me, that you are wealthy, you are healthy, and you are wise. By doing this small affirmations and easy practices, and by careful analytical thinking, you will be able to manage this transit as a profit-making transit and a life-changing transit. Remember, Mercury aspects your ascendant. So people will talk about you. Take the criticism constructively. Don't react to situation, but give a proper response. Overall, this is going to be a very unique transit for you because anything that you are, the anywhere that where you are stuck, you will get the solution from somebody else. It's good time for you. Capricorn Ascendant. For you, Mercury will transit the sixth house. Now, in your case, this is the transit where your communication should be towards your responsibility or rather your responsibilities will talk to you. You will have no escape from this. There is a Vipreet Rajyog made by Sun. As soon as Mercury enters the sign of Gemini, Sun will be 8th Lord in the 6th house. So when 8th Lord is in the 6th house, definitely this means that Prarabdha is going to talk to you. Prarabdha is the most important thing at this point of time. Well, 9th Lord, which is your Dharma, is also in the sixth house which is also your prarabdha so your duty your responsibility is the theme in this time frame you have to fulfill your responsibility you have to fulfill your duty you can't escape this take care of your health and do not take stress take care of your skin also drink plenty of water and if you have any kind of dry skin or a dandruff related issue take care of that overall this is going to be a transit that addresses your weak points that communication was long pending and it will happen now Take it constructively because the future is very good for you. Aquarius Ascendant. For you, Mercury is the Trikon Lord, fifth Lord. It is in the fifth house. So definitely it means that knowledge and learning is the key here. Buddhaditya Yoga is being formed in the fifth house. That means you need to apply your own intelligence and smart work to apply what you have learned in the real life. Improve your education. It is good for students, good for children, because uh, they will get the knowledge and the benefits of Mercury's intellect. Expansion of Buddhi and Chitta is going to be the theme for Mercury transit for Aquarius Ascendant people. For you, Mercury will aspect the 11th house, so definitely this will give you new ideas that will give you new source of income. So what you should do, you should meditate, work on new ideas, think philosophically, 
let C and address both sides of the coin and then come to a conclusion. Good time to start a new business, good time to plant a seed that will become a tree, a fruitful tree in the near future. Overall, this is going to be a very educative learning and transaction based transit for you where your energy exchange will decide what you are getting. So when you are exchanging energy, exchange positivity, express positivity and express intelligence. Show what you know. Overall, this is going to be a very positive transit for you. Pisces Ascendant. For you, Mercury moves the fourth house. When Mercury is in the fourth house, seventh lord going in the fourth house definitely means the career of your spouse will be under confusion. It will be about your career, your spouse's career, your happiness and your spouse's happiness. You have to play smart in this case. You may have to do some compromise in your own career. So if you want, if, you, if that is the need of the hour, think about it. When Mercury goes into Gemini in fourth house, it definitely means that you need to start making your comfort zone your source of income. So think about what your strengths are. Can you earn from that? Think about how you can communicate with your family members. This is the good time to buy a new property. This is the good time to invest in real estate business. This is a good time to invest your money in safe instruments. But remember, this is also the time when loans will be on your head. So beware of loans. Don't take extra amount of headache, a burden that will crush you later on. Overall, this can prove to be a very confident, comfortable and a career building transit for you. You can also go for renovation at home because some auspicious event at home will also happen. This is a positive, positive time frame, but take care of the health of your mother. Because your Ascendant Lord is in 12th house and it aspects that 4th house from the 12th house, it means those who are not living in their home will remember their home. You will always want to be in that position, in your own home, in the comfort of your own home. Try to be there for some time. Try to see how you can have energy exchange between you and your home. Make the environment positive and go for some vastu correction. Overall, this is going to be a very happy, peaceful and a career building transit for you. So that was the ascendant based analysis and also the moon based analysis. Again, I will repeat, if you are looking for the ascendant, just simply go to the, go to your ascendant and you will get the ascendant based analysis. And if you want the analysis for your moon sign, simply go to the, that particular zodiac of, of your moon sign but translate the entire analysis psychologically. Because both cannot be done on a single video, so I made a common video for both. It is a generic video. It is a video which gives you a kind of guidance, a kind of viewpoint from the perspective of planets. I hope you like this video and if you like, do not forget to subscribe the channel and share the video among family and friends to spread the word of astrology. You can also support this channel by joining the YouTube channel and, and all other links are given in the description box below. All other methods are in the description box below. You can also follow me on social media for more such quick updates. And for consultation, drop me an email. The email ID is in the description box below. We'll meet in the next video. Till then, this is your host Puneet. Namaste.